Hi everybody, it's Mallory Smythe with Endow. A few years ago, I was doing a Bible study on the book of Genesis and we were going through chapter one, which is the first creation story. And I realized that one word makes such a big difference. On one hand, you have God creating the universe and as he's going through creating the universe, he's calling everything good. And then we get to where he creates man and woman in his image and likeness, and he calls it very good. See, that word very reveals so much about God's heart for humanity. It reveals so much about, about how he has set us apart because we are created in his image and likeness. See, this is one of the foundational teachings of Catholicism, that humans have dignity, that we are made in the image and likeness of God. And I know that you've heard this before. And so as I was reading through the first chapter of our study on Letter to Women, and it came across the section on dignity, I started just to kind of go over it as, as if I, I already know this. And yet there was a quote in the study that stuck out to me. And I thought there was something that I could learn there. It says, the Catholic Church teaches that this dignity is inalienable and inviolable, meaning that nobody, not even ourselves, can take it away from us. See, dignity is a gift from God that cannot be destroyed. And I don't know if we all know that, if we don't, if we own that, that, that nothing we can do can destroy what God has placed in us in his creation of us. Yes, sin harms us. It can harm our dignity. It can, it can hide our dignity. So, so often we can go through life never understanding who we are because all we see is the filth and the consequence of our sin. And yet healing and restoration are always right there because that dignity is always right there and God is desperately wanting to show us who he made us to be. He wants us to be walking in who he made us to be. I think about the years that I spent away from the church, that I spent away from living um, in the will of God. And I think about the battle that was within me, this turmoil that was within me. And as I reflect on it, I can only think that it was the Holy Spirit trying to reveal to me my dignity, trying to show me that it was there and trying to show me that that's where I needed to be living. And I didn't want to hear it. I was running away from it as fast as I could. And so there was that battle within myself. See, I wonder where you are this week. I wonder what you see when you look in the mirror. Do you see a woman made in the image and likeness of God who has been restored through virtue of her baptism to grace, whose dignity is, is meant to be shown to the world so that other people can find theirs? Or do you see what other people have done to you? Do you see the effects of your own sin? And is that dignity hidden away from you? Wherever you are, I just in, I invite you to let the Lord in to reveal to you the gift that he has given you that cannot be destroyed. Nothing can take away the fact that you reflect his goodness and that you reflect his image and you are meant to do so in a very specific way. So as we go through this week, I, just in, I invite you to think about that and to pray about that. God has given you a gift when he created you that cannot be destroyed no matter what. Yes, it can be harmed, but it can also be healed and restored. If you want to learn more about what it means to live a life in the dignity that God has given us, you can dive into an Endow study at www.endowgroups.org, or you can connect with us on Facebook and Instagram at Endow Groups. Have a great week.